Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for today is circles. Circles are the first conic sections we have studied in the analytic geometry section. Okay, so what are we going to do first is to determine the standard form of the circle. Okay, so let me introduce what circles are. A circle is a set of all fixed points equidistant from the center. When we say equidistant, the distance is equal. So what are we going to do is to connect the point that lies on the circle with the center. Thus, we form the radius. Okay, so let me tell you, in order to look for the radius, we have to use the distance formula between the center and the point that lies on the circle. Okay, so whatever point we plot, as long as it lies on the circle, then we connect it with the center, it forms a radius. And we can tell that all radius or all radii are equal. In terms of the cone, okay, if we cut this horizontally, then we form a circle. Okay, let me read the standard form of the circle. So, the standard form of the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center is h and k, the radius is r, where r is a positive integer, and a point that lies on the circle is x and y. Okay, so let me find the center and the radius of this given equation. So first, what are we going to do is to recall the standard form of the circle. So what is the standard form of the circle? So there you go. So what are we going to do here is we're going to familiarize this standard form. We're going to compare x minus h with x minus 3. So, parang ipapatternize lang natin yon, Kasi because they have the x, right? So, what are we going to do is to cancel x. Because if we use a subtraction property of equality, then the x will be diminished. So, what will remain is negative h equals negative 3. So, what are we going to do is to divide both sides by negative sign. Then, therefore, your h is 3. Or, the alternate solution is x minus h equals x minus 3. Then, using the subtraction property of equality, so x minus h minus x equals x minus 3 minus x. So, we're going to subtract both sides by x. Then, what will remain is negative h and negative 3. Then, doing the same thing, our h is 3. That is our alternate solution. Now, since... What are we going to do is to patternize y minus k with y plus 7. So what are we going to do here is do the same thing as we did for the x. So keep in mind that this property of equality is subtraction. Then what will remain is negative k and 7. So dividing both sides by negative sign, so what will happen? Your k will be negative 7. So our center is 3 and negative 7. In order to get the radius, we're going to patternize r squared with 100. So what are we going to do is to apply the square root on both sides. Then the square root of r squared will be r, then the square root of 100 will be 10. Okay, so therefore, our radius is 10. Okay, so therefore, this is our center and our radius. Okay, so our next example is to determine the standard form of the circle wherein the center is negative 2 and 4 and the radius is 5. So again, the first step is still the same as we did in the first example. Then now, we're going to label the center and the radius. So there you go. Okay, so 
given our center and radius, okay, since our center is H and K, so we're going to patternize with negative 2 and 4. So, therefore, this is the center. However, what are we going to do is to patternize R with 5. Therefore, your R is 5, also known as the radius. So, what are we going to do is to perform the substitution method. Okay, so your H will be replaced by negative 2. While your K will be replaced by 4. Then, what are we going to do with R is it will be replaced by 5. Okay. Then, therefore, we're going to simplify what's inside the parenthesis. Okay, so what is 5 squared? Then, it will be 25. So, this is the standard form of the circle based on the given provided. Okay, our next example is the given point that lies on the circle and the center. However, we don't have radius. So all we have to do is, ganun pa rin ang first step. Or shall I say, the first step is still the same. Okay. Then I'll state all the given here. So I'm going to label the parts. Okay, now, what are we going to do here is to identify the X and Y. So our X and Y is 4 and 9, then our H and K is 1 and 5. Okay, so what are we going to do here is we're going to substitute. So our X will be replaced by 4 and H will be replaced by 1. Then write the exponent 2. Then our Y will be replaced by 9. Then our K will be replaced by 5. Then copy the exponent of 2. Then we'll just copy the r squared y because we do not know what is our radius. Okay, so that this is how we find the radius, okay? If the radius is not given. However, the center and the point that lies on the circle are given. So what are we going to do is solve what's inside the parenthesis. Okay. So, what we did is we subtract numbers that are inside the parentheses. Then now, we're going to simplify using the exponent. So, what is 3 squared? It is 9 because 3 times 3. How about 4 squared? It will be 16 because 4 times 4. Then R squared. So, what are we going to do is we're going to add. Then, what are we going to do to find the R is to apply the square root on both sides. So our r is equal to 5. Then now we have the given radius and the given center. So all we have to do is to copy the x, then we're going to substitute our h by 1. Then we're going to do the same thing for the y. However, we're going to replace k with 5. Then since our radius is 5, we're going to replace R with 5. And finally, we're going to simplify the 5 squared, which is 25. So there you go. Voila! So this is a standard form of the circle based on the following given. Okay, we're going to discuss the challenging example. So... What if the center is not given, kahit yung radius then hindi rin given? However, yung endpoints, also known as the points, lying on the circle. Okay, yun lang ang given. So, first, in order to get the center, we're going to use the midpoint formula for this. We're going to find the midpoint. So, what are we going to do is to add the x-coordinates, namely 7 and 13. Then, we're going to divide it by 2. Then, what are we going to do is we're going to find the sum of the y-coordinates, namely negative 9 and negative 3. Then, we're going to divide it by 2. So, 7 plus 13 is 20. Then, divide it by 2. 
Then negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12 divided by 2. So now, finding the respective quotient, it will be 10 and negative 6. Okay, so this is the center. Okay, so allow me to choose my favorite point lying on the circle. So the point is 7 and negative 9. Okay, so what are we going to do here right now is we're going to use the standard form of the circle as the recall thing. So we can familiarize. Okay, so since our radius is not yet given, what are we going to do is just to substitute here. So this is our x and this is our y. Well, this is our h and this is our k. So we're going to replace according to its identification variable. So 7 is x, that's why we replace x with 7. Then we're going to replace h with 10. Then we're going to replace y with negative 9, then k with negative 6. So it will be plus because double negation to. Okay, so what are we going to do is to solve what's inside the parentheses. So 7 minus 10 is negative 3. Then negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3. Then what are we going to do is to find the square of each number. So it will be 9 plus 9 equals r squared. Then our r squared is 18. So therefore, we don't need to find the r because what is asked is to find the standard form. But sige na nga, we're going to find the radius. So the radius is square root of 18. Then we simplify it in its simplest radical form, which is 3 square root of 2. Okay, so therefore, since our r squared is 18, then our center is 10 and negative 6, we can substitute h with 10, then k with negative 6. That's why y plus 6 because our k is negative 6. Then our r squared is 18. So this is the standard form of the circle. So thank you and God bless you. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe my channel, and to share this video to your friends, especially for those who are STEM and in college, taking up BS math or shall I say engineering. Okay, so thank you and God bless. Don't forget to subscribe my channel again. Thank you.